So then now we could say that we were a level uh, 14 warrior. We had explored most of the places, right? Except for our inventory was empty or full. So we could uh, figure this out before we head out, right? So we hit the H button. We see if there's any uh, upgrades. We actually do have a uh, helmet upgrade that we never put on. And we guess we had uh, deleted the pants we had because our pants are still terrible. But we found a uh, one-handed sword that is actually better than our two-handed sword. This one-handed sword is going to do more damage than the two-handed. So we could get rid of that. And then the... Other stuff we don't need, right? So we go to our inventory, we uh, click on our uh, double, our uh, basic salvaging kit, and we double click it, and then we can get rid of the uh, helmet and the armor, and then the uh, weapons and the stuff that we don't need anymore, right? So we uh, salvage all those, we go to a deposit materials, compact, and then we uh, double click the essences of luck, and double click the uh, bags of testing materials. So these are going to carry uh, crafting materials, it looks like. So deposit materials, compact, and then now. We just have to find a vendor, so now we could uh, find a whole new place. We explored most of this place, so we could go to the other level 1 to level 15 area, right? Uh, yeah, Caledon Forest level 1 to 15, so now we could also teleport to their home world for 14 copper, right? It's uh, just to the right over here of the place that we were just at, so we could go here to level up some more. And, Explore a new area and find all of these uh, waypoints and uh, points of interest and hero challenges and vistas and do all of the uh, quests in the Celadon Forest. And then looking at the map of uh, this area, we could go talk to the scout and then there are some points of interest over here, right? So we talk to the scout and then just going to uh, reveal some of the hearts on the map, right? So there's a quest over here now, a level 2 quest, kill termites, uproot termite life, right? and uh, do one other thing, feed prickly hungry the mobs, so basically we could go and click on the things on the ground, we got the point of interest, we click on the tree and then what happens, and then we could uh, click on the larva tails, and then a uh, worm should come out of the ground, right, termite larvae, alright, cool, so now like maybe even uh, switch to the gun or something, so we just have to destroy termite larvas, is that the thing? Feed prickly fruit to the hungry moas, and then uh, we're just doing this quest here. We have to actually uproot the larva so we can't just attack them right away. And then we just uh, double click on the larvas to attack them with a the gun, and then we uh, finish the quest. So then we just had to destroy one more tarmac larva, and then the quest was complete, right? As we completed the quest, so now we can go to the other point of interest, or we should go to the uh, merchant over here. So we completed the quest, got some copper, and then uh. Go sell all of our junk that we couldn't sell before, right? So we cleaned our inventory, we dismantled everything, we deposited the crafting materials. Now we just need to go to a merchant and we just need to say we need to sell all of our junks. There we go, now our inventory is a lot cleaner, right? We picked up some items, it looks like, so deposit compact, and then uh, these items we don't really need. So we can double click the salvaging kit and then uh, salvage the gloves and the boots and get a whole bunch of copper and then uh, deposit that. and then. Actually, these uh, data crystals, those are for the quest we did before, so we could delete the data crystals, and then the uh, energy crystals, once in the description, but it doesn't look like it does anything, so the 5k pieces, why didn't uh, those sell? You could never have too many allies. Uh, sell the... Ah, so we, uh, these gate pieces are just uh, gray items, right? We don't need them, so we could destroy them. Let's go find the other... Oh. A point of interest down here. The undiscovered point of interest to the south is where we're gonna go to see what uh, this area is all about. And then I guess there's a whole new place to explore to the northeast, and there's a scout over here. So now we go here, and then we uh, got the point of interest, right? So you go back up, we might as well go talk to the scout. So then the uh, scout he revealed some more points on the map. So we have a new quest over here, right? We have to. Repel the night core, clear spider webs, and activate the mortar pods. So just over here, we have to do this quest over here. There's some waypoints over here. So we have to figure out uh, what we have to click on the ground to do for this quest over here. Uh, here's the motors. So we just uh, right click them on the ground, right? Uh, get in range. Let me. Uh, I can't right click them. Uh, repel the clear spiders and activate the mortar pods. So why are the spiders too clear then? Uh, we're looking for spiders to clear, and then here's the waypoint. So how do we, uh, like what do we do with these things? Right click them and they don't do anything. So we actually uh, leveled up, right? We leveled up, now we're level uh, 15. We got rewards, so we got a 
new two-handed weapon as soon as we leveled up actually so we could choose any of them they do the same thing it's just their uh, sigil is different so you could do a chill your opponent for a bit increases vulnerability or do a lightning damage upon impact so we could uh, choose the two-handed uh, mace we got a whole new weapon as soon as we got to level 15 so now our sword isn't as good we thought it was but we could equip the two-handed mace and then now we have a really really good two-handed weapon and actually we were saving these, the ability 7 and 8, we could have uh, used those because we could go to the uh, hero, we press the H button and go to the equipment panel, right? And then we go to training in the left here and then we could uh, train any of these, the stance, the shout training, the signet training. So we're just going to do with uh, these, the signet training and then we're going to click on the other last signet and then train. So we have a whole bunch of hero points so we could uh, use them to put these signets on. So now we could uh, equip this ability with the improves our power passively and then we can do uh, improves our precision or reduces incoming damage and uh, heal ourselves when he, we use this ability so to do some real damage. put this one over here maybe so our healings are right beside each other and then now we have some new abilities we use our hero points let's see how do we complete this quest down here there's the motors we couldn't activate and the spiders we can't uh, find where these spiders are so there's these stalkers but repel the nightmare court uh, something are these uh jungle worms jungle worm hatchlings where are the spiders we have to kill all right so we have figured it out we just have to climb up these uh mushrooms here and then we can maybe activate this pod yes and then it counts as our uh, progress towards the quest so now that one's like okay so that one's room must have been activated already and i seen there was a nightwear web over here so we just uh, tear down the nightwear web with the f button then there's a spider we have to kill that comes out of the webs. Okay, so then we destroy these spider webs and then kill these spiders that come out. Nightmare webs, you can't uh, see them until you hover over them. Sweet, so then we just destroy all these spider webs. And then uh, activate the mortars if we see any. So then here we found where to go. It's just uh, up along the tree, maybe up here more. No, so there's more spider webs and more mortars we have to activate over here. Spider webs down here, maybe in the trees. Oh, there wasn't any spider webs in the trees, so we just had to keep looking then. There's anything over here, there's nothing over there. We have to activate the motor pods, and then eventually the quest should be complete. So we keep, uh, here we go, now the motor pods are activated, so they must have been uh, activated before already. So now we can go activate them. Alright, so we just go click these, and then we click on the spider webs in the trees up there more, maybe. Garden scouts. So then there we hit all of the mortar parts and we completed the quest. The quest was complete. So now we can move on to the next one to the north. It looked right, right. Uh, yeah, we can go north, I guess. Is there anything to the west? Uh, there's uh, some quests over here and then some vistas to view. So we get the waypoint and then go down here and then get uh, those other quests and get everything else down here then. So then we had uh, gotten the waypoint. And we just went up here to reveal the rest of the map, right? So there's still other places to go for there. But let's go do this quest over here. What is uh, this quest? It says to uh, help gather lavender, uh, search the piles, and build scarecrows. Return to him and uh, protect the harvesters from nearby threats. So uh, help gather lavender, search for piles. We just have to go over by this quest and uh, search for stuff on the ground to interact with, right? Uh, Nothing to interact. Uh, sand piles. What do we do with the sand piles? A uh, bag of grass. We pick up the bag of grass. So what do we do with the bag of grass? Okay, left here. So we just uh, click things on the ground, destroy these kind of crops. That works too. So, um, the fruit. Uh, pick up fruit. What do we do with it? Throw and knock down a foe. Uh, I've got a lavender. We need a uh, lavender though. Uh, there's nothing in here. Oh, saplings. We don't really need to cut or chop anything, right? We just need to figure out how to complete this quest here. Oh. Just uh, come back when the quest is done, then. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Oh. So then there, now we have turned in enough lavender and searched enough piles, and we completed the quest. So now we could uh, move on to the next quest up here. We could go uh, talk to the scout up here. So we could go backtrack, I guess. Well, no, we shouldn't backtrack. We should go down here and get this uh, Vista and Hero Point down here while we're here. So we'll go down here, get uh, these things, and then we'll backtrack up to the waypoint, I guess. We'll take the portal. 
And then we ran down here and we found the point of interest and then we we're gonna go see if we could run past this uh, corner around here. We could have to destroy these enemies, right? They'll give us experience and items probably and they'll stop uh, bothering us because they're bothering us right now by attacking us. We just uh, continue up the road here. We could leave that one. We could heal ourselves with the six button. So now we have uh, reached the edge of the waterfall. We could earn a hero point. And there's a fist over here. We have to figure out how to get to. So maybe we get up here, right up here. Or maybe we don't. It looks like a really far drop. So we should be careful up here. Make sure you don't uh, fall and kill yourself. But I think we're uh, probably jumping off the edge of the cliff pretty soon, right? Cause here's the waterfalls. So what if we. Uh, Go down the waterfall, so as long as we have a raft down here, we can just ride the rapids down. So here, there's a hero point over here, right? The veteran, so there's the vista right up there, and then here's the uh, hero point right up here. So now we can uh, climb up here to get to the hero point. Yes, we can. Then we just uh, commune with the hero point, right? Commune with his power. And as long as that guy doesn't attack us, we could uh, finish the hero power and get the hero point and then complete the quest here and then try to figure out how to get the vista that's up uh, over there. So we have to figure out how to climb up over there, maybe this route we climb onto. There's a ledge up here, so how do we get up onto this ledge up here? We have to go figure out a way around on top of the ledge. There should be some way if we just keep going around, maybe we could go up here. Yes, we can go up here. So then we're gonna go around, up around the cliff, up to the top here, and uh, get this uh, vista over in the corner. So we can leave the deers alone, the deers are okay, but then the spiders are not okay, the spiders are aggressive, so they're going to destroy us, we have to destroy them first. So then now we're all the way up here, right? We got the point, which is some uh, jungle spider here, guarding the vista point. We got the vista point uh, nonetheless, so we hit the F button, and then we can view this one, and then now we're all, uh, done over here. This guy's trying to attack us while we're doing everything. So now, what is there to do? We can go to the south and do this quest here. So level 7 quest. We just head to the south by the looks of it. Let's go south. So then, yes, we uh, could go just to the south and then we can go to this way point. We said, what, do something with these strangle thorns? Uh, no, leave the strangle thorns. Okay. So I do deceased that grub or and then there's other I speak with him before become a moss heart. Speak with uh Arius. So Arius is over here, probably the quest giver, right? Uh speak with him to become a moss heart, clear strangle thorns and grubs, I uh, heal the retin grubs. You have to talk to him before we could uh, do anything. I was looking for a change. Now we have to become this uh, big monster. Holy jeez, and then we uh borrow the grubs, disease borrow grubs we attack you. So we can attack the enemies, so that's good. Uh, how do we attack? We use no auto attack or anything. Can we loot anything? Yes, we can. So now we have to sit here and deal with these strangle thorns. We interact with them with the F button. The strangle thorns destroyed, and then these uh, pods, do we do anything with them? Or? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, and then it goes uh, hearts, and then jeez. So now we just have to go do the rest of the things in this quest. More strangle thorns over there. So there now eventually we were completed the quest we got a whole bunch of experience we completed this one so now we could uh, move on to the next one we don't uh, want to be this anymore uh, return to our form all right so now all of this stuff is done here right we did these quests this is just uh, 15 areas so these are all done over here and then we can go run to the east over here so yeah we'll just uh, run east over there so we can go east uh, through this passage maybe uh, east. How do we go east? Can we go over here? Uh, let's just uh, teleport over there, right? Let's not uh, worry about this. We can take the teleporter over here. Yeah, we'll take this one for 10 copper. And then we can go to the north and get the other waypoint in the other areas over here. There's more quests over here, right? So the waypoint is all the way up here. Let's uh, go north and get this one. So we had uh, successfully traveled northeast to the other uh, waypoint. So there was another uh, quest over here. So of course, said, uh, defeat the undead, revive the territory markers, uh, rebuild the fortifications, and aspire uh, with local wardens. So here we could just go find things to right-click on the map. Yeah, we so right-click on the map. Then we could uh, spar yes, with the wardens. So at least fight you, and then we have to we fight, fight the wardens. Oh, it's not really easy. We just fight the wardens, and then we just uh, destroy the wardens in two hits. We'll be safe on my watch. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And then we just uh, click all the other things on the ground until the quest is complete around here. 
So then there's also a grasping hands out of the ground. We could uh, right click and then an enemy would come out of the ground. There was draws of the ground. Quest was all complete. So now we're all done over here. So now we can go over there. Yeah, then we should say that we uh, completed this quest. We completed a whole other quest over here, but then that wasn't uh, the end of it. There's another quest over to the east. Uh, killing spiders, uh, killing mushrooms, destroy spider webs, and uh, toxic mushrooms. We do have a spider problem in this forest. We could tell there's uh, spiders everywhere in this forest. And then there's the mushrooms over here that we can click. And then as soon as we click enough of these mushrooms, the quest will be finished, right? Yes, that counts towards the progress. And then there was some uh, spiders back there. There's some cave spiders right here, right? So we could pick on the red caps, and then we could uh, destroy these spiders. And then the spiders, they do count towards the quest. What's the problem with that thing, man? Okay, so we crawl inside here, and then we get all the spiders from the barrel. That's pretty cool. And then we couldn't loot anything, so we're just off uh, kill the rest of these spiders. So now we just have to defeat uh, one more spider, I think, right? If we defeat one more spider, then maybe we could uh, have a mushroom if we need to. Oh, no, we didn't need to, so now the quest was completed. Now we can go down to the south and do these quests that we missed over here, right? We should go down to the south here. Oh, we completed this quest here, so we can accept it and say that we're just about leveled up, right? We just need to kill a one spider, then we should be leveled up to level uh, 16 here. Yes, well, the spider did level us up, so now we are level 16, actually. So now we have even more stats, now we're even more powerful, right? We just have to figure out how to get to the quest over there. So then now we arrived at the point of interest in the quest. We're supposed to help with uh, pop pops, I guess. Uh, looks like a uh, loving lady, so we have to... I'll get pups and then I slay uh, pests in the area. So I mentioned those uh, flying bugs they were talking about were pests, right? The pet brood mothers. Pests, all uh, the pests are still alive over here. So we're just defeating level 2 jungle spiders. Yes, the level 2 jungle spiders will work. Uh, help lost hounds play with pups and kill the pests. So how do we play with the pups? The inside? Here's the pups right here. So now if we right click on the pups, what happens? Uh, go home. Oh, we tell the pups to go home and then they actually go home. They listen to us. Do the mosquitoes count? Oh, it looks like the mosquitoes did count towards the quest, right? Yes, the mosquitoes do count as well. So you can uh, do pests and kill the mosquitoes and kill the other bugs here. Yeah, Risen thralls, they count the pests. No, the thralls are not pests. So it's only the uh, bugs then. The bugs only count as pests. Yeah, it looks like, hey, we just destroy mosquitoes, and then we help out, maybe we should pay some respects, and go to the lost town to say you should go home there, pup. Another jaguar, another pest over here, and then we completely fast eventually. And then we can also hit these uh, mosquito larvae on the ground, and they count towards the quest. Now our quest is completed, and the mosquitoes tried to jump us, but they were no match for us, so the quest was completed. We completed that one now we could probably go east to this other quest over here I'll just keep following the road i imagine so it looks like we have revealed more places so there actually is a waypoint up here we revealed right so we click on the waypoint and then there's another quest and another point of interest right up here so we'll burn the undead corpses smash the noxious plants and we'll protect the wardens so we have to do some more quest stuff over here it's not really we don't have any Inventory problems, right? Uh, no, our inventory is good. Inventory is always clean. So it's hounds. Now we just have to go find some things to do for the quest here. Uh, if you just head the warden. Oh, so what we have to do here? Uh, resin corpses are down here to the east compared to the map. So we go uh, burn the undead corpses. All right. Then we get the noxious plants. So we burn the corpses. Then we get the noxious plants, and then uh, protect the wardens, and battle risen. So then here, eventually, this quest will also be complete. Yes, no, noxious plants. Yes, and then we can also heal the warden scouts, but then actually once we heal them and we revive them, then something happens, right? We get progress, and then they die, and then a risen grub rises out of the ground, so then we have to destroy the risen grub, and then he gives us more quest progress. We just have to figure out uh, one more risen corpse. I guess uh, we burn the risen raw. The quest is complete, so another quest done. Another quest done for us, the warrior. So now we can go north and uh, reveal the map. Oh, there's a vista over here. Let's go get the vista before we go. It's just over to the southeast over here. So then the vista was right in front of us, right? We traveled over here and we seen it was up here, so we had to figure out how to get to the 
top of the things. We can't probably can't go climb on the roofs. So we would go around the building, right? Then we destroy the straws along the way. Just the sword because they're so weak, or the rifle, right? We just shoot them and they just fall in like four hits. Yeah, that works. So then now we just had to climb up here, I guess, right? Yeah, we found a way up here, so now we had to work our way around probably to the top of the building here. So now just another jungle throw was a guarding the way. I don't bother him if he's not gonna bother you. So now we could hit the F button and then view this vista over here. So now we viewed that one. What was there to do over here? Everything was pretty much done over here. We could go to the northeast. There's more quests and uh, more undiscovered areas over to the northeast. We had to go to the northeast over here and see what was over here. There's a whole new quest to discover already. We knew that already. You know. Wow, we're just uh, level 16. That was so quick. We didn't even notice we were doing quests. We'd just been running around everywhere. Then eventually we should uh, reveal more of My the map here. Yeah, so we got a hero point and then a quest and then another uh, waypoint. And then this uh, dodging guy is going to teach us how to dodge. Can we, uh, we can't uh, dodge. So we can only dodge as the humans, I guess, in the human place in our starting area. So now we could uh, fall down and uh, complete this quest here. What does it say? Uh, defeat Risen, burn their corpses, and stomp on the grub holes. So there's a grub hole down there. And there's some uh, Risen's over here. Oh, everything's down below. There's some corrupted grub holes. Here we go. We could uh, he burn the Risen corpses. There's a Risen corpse right there. So we just destroy the Risen thralls. Maybe uh, switch to our axe again since we're in melee range. That would help. So you burning these and then uh, getting the corrupted grub holes and then the risen grubs come out of the grub holes. And then I think pretty soon eventually we got enough of the corrupted grubs, we destroyed the grubs and then there was just the uh, hero challenge left, right? We completed the quest over here. Now we just have the uh, hero quest over there. Morgan's heard the hero challenge, so we just click on the hero challenge to say take a blossom and then I imagine we just uh, eat the blossom. Uh, double click to gain a hero point. So yes, we uh, eat the blossom and then we gain a hero point and now we have a whole new hero point And then there's a waypoint up here. We have to get we just have to figure out how to get up on top of the cliff here So we could go maybe we could uh, just jump up here. That would make it super simple, All right? We just go run jump up the cliff and then jump up to get the waypoint And then here's we made a whole lot of progress on this map, right? We got like two levels or something. Now it's need to get to level uh, 17 so we could uh, Explore this area is unexplored. There's a whole new places to go. We did uh, all of this area. Holy, we explored a whole bunch of places in this episode. Jeez, we could explore so many places every episode. So the next episode, we tried to explore more of the northern part of this area and then get more stuff done here. So now we working our way to the north through this uh, forest here. It looks pretty dangerous, but we make it. What is that thing over there?